call this place? It's an auction house for Hollywood? It's, well, it's... whenever anybody comes in here for the first time, like a new FedEx guy or UPS guy, they look around like, what the? <laughs> what is all So this? we're an auction house, and okay. we basically deal in movie props, costumes, memorabilia, cars. It doesn't vehicles. matter what size it is. Yeah, and, or what it is. Anything to do with the making of a TV or a motion picture from all of your favorite shows from the birth of film and TV until present day things. We have stuff from Glee here. We go back to Citizen Kane, Gone with the Wind, The Wizard of Oz. I, I just sat on Fonzie's bike, so anything's Fonzie, possible. Yeah, it's, there's every day you'll come in and there'll be Fonzie's bike, there'll be uh, John Bonham's motorcycle, there'll be Dennis Hopper's motorcycle. It's a constant flow. Look at it as an opportunity of preserving and, Hollywood's history for fans around but the world. This is this is open for, for fans. So it, absolutely, if, if you want to see any of these things, you can you can order, can you order a catalog. You, you can, yeah, you can go to our web. The first thing you can do is go to our website yeah. and you can download the catalogs free of charge. The catalogs are pretty elaborate. And they're like twenty pounds. Yeah, they're like twenty pounds. You could definitely kill somebody with a catalog. But if you want to buy one, unfortunately, they are fifty bucks. If you are overseas, you got to pay for postage because they are. But they're worth it. Yeah. They really are. They're as good as any coffee table book. But the good thing is you can. Download them for free. You can bid on the internet. You don't have to come here. Or if you come to Los Angeles, you just want to come by and meet us. Come by because you never know what's going to. I never know what's going to be here. Because every day something. Does it literally change daily? That fast? daily. Well, right now Annette Funicello's estate is here. You know, and her husband is consigning. You know, some of the most important artifacts in her lifetime. Wow. The first award she ever got as a child. Amazing. You know, so that's literally happening yeah. as we're standing here. Right. Right. Another guy is bringing in a great collection of you know theme park posters from Disneyland. Uh, the Stratus cycle that Evil Knievel used yes, is on its way. Is, okay. We'll be here momentarily when you're pounding we're, at the door. We're going to come back here maybe once a week and show you guys kind of the latest things that are coming in. Absolutely. And Amazing stuff. Yeah, and every Stunt week. Stuntrooper helmets, you name it. You, name, you never know. And you never know who's going to be here. You might walk in and see, you know, very famous celebrity. It's common. They're fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. All right. All right, so this is the the very first original blockade runner from Star Wars. I don't know what this is going to go for, but this is this is not a small deal. This is the real deal. <laughs> Why is Twicky stuck in the corner? Look at this. Beady, 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 beady. These are very small. See? They're about this tall. Oh, hanging out with Brian, we're at Profiles in History, and there's all kinds of cool cool stuff. I mean, it's amazing stuff you guys have here. We well, so, spent a lot of time to get it, you know, to find this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, primarily we focus on cars and bikes and all that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. behind me we have something from American Graffiti. Right. Tell me about this. 1958 Impala, and it has the original studio paint, modified red trim, tuck and roll interior. All of this is as it was when we, the person who consigned it he saw an ad in the San Francisco Chronicle in 1973 prior to the film's release. Right. And uh, he needed a set of wheels. You know, he was a poor, broke kid, 16 year old. So he went, he couldn't afford the $2,200 for the Deuce for the Coupe for the 55 Chevy. Can yeah. you imagine? Yeah. So he saw this, he negotiated a deal for $285, bought it. Okay, had a cracked block. Incidentally, but the correct, he still has the crack block for the person that buys it and the original three speed manual Saginaw transmission. Right now, it has a turbo 400 in it just to make it more, you know, even more drivable. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this it's the smell, it's the old car <laughs> smell. <laughs> yeah, this is the old film car smell, right? Exactly. The bike sitting next to it is Henry Winkler's Fonzie motorcycle. And how long have you guys had that? Well, we got that um, earlier in the year, you know, and so we knew we were going to have some nice 50s, 60s kind of era replicas, right. not replicas, but uh, um, iconic um, uh, artifacts, yeah. you know, from, from television and film. Sure. I mean, because really, if you know, because this is Ron Howard's car in the movie, he yeah. lent it to Toad, Charles Martin Smith. But because of the success of American Graffiti is what spawned Happy Days. 